Hi, Nick. I'm thinking I'm the most awkward one in the room. This is really strange for me. Never would have thought I'd be doing this. Without Nick's help, I wouldn't be, but uh, we got hooked up here. So in just a couple minutes, I'll start in uh, with a little brief uh, closeout of the day. Well, thus far, it's been a crazy week. I'm sure uh, all of your weeks have been just as crazy as mine. Um, we just wanna touch bases with all that we have going on at Grace through this period when we're not able to meet together. Um, people are frantically uh, putting things together and trying to um, trying to hold together a church that can't get together and uh, trying to minister to all age groups uh, through this time. And obviously it's, there's so much uncertainty, it makes it difficult. But um, tomorrow on our website, graceontheweb.org, um, there will be somewhat of a guide for all the things that are, are going on from, from Dan, Pastor Dan with the, with the children's, Pastor Nick with the, with the youth, and Sean's gonna have the, the college age group. Uh, Pastor Ken's gonna do um, G3 things on there. Of course, Pastor Daryl's gonna start every morning at 9, 9 a.m., uh, Monday through Saturday with a morning devotion and uh, just a kick off to your day. And then on Sunday at nine o'clock also, we're gonna have our all church uh, service, one service live at nine o'clock and then that will be able to be replayed at any time at your convenience uh, if nine o'clock's too early for you, 11 o'clock church attenders. So um, that's, that's the slate tomorrow. That should be live on the, on the website so that you can see all the connections, the Instagram, the YouTube, the, the uh, Facebook Live, all those connections, those links for prayer cards, for uh, prayer requests, for giving online, for all those things. Uh, that should uh, be available to you tomorrow at some point. And so uh, plans are being made for this service. It's all gonna be a little bit different and a little bit the same. So I, I think you'll be blessed uh, just like you have been in the past. Um, the evenings at the closeout, I'm also gonna do a devotion uh, starting tomorrow night. So we'll be back at it um, tomorrow. Uh, I will have this one under my belt and be so much better. Um, you'll be amazed. Um, so what I wanted to touch bases with you tonight is just kind of a wrap up. A couple of weeks ago, we had our missions week at Grace and we had some great speakers and, and uh, we had events where people came together, with great fellowship, uh, great food, um, just a, a really good weekend. And, and last year, our total pledges for the year, which we base our budget off of, was $277,000. And uh, we had a great year uh, giving that money away, blessing missionaries. And uh, this year, our budget, even though we stopped a week earlier, we usually go two weeks past the missions Sunday um, just for people who are out of town. And because we won't be meeting this Sunday, we've gone ahead and, and finalized that uh, pledge amount at $291,000. So we're up $14,000 from last year. So praise the Lord with me. It's, uh, it, he's, he's blessed us again, and, and I know he has plans for, that, for those funds uh, to further his kingdom and to glorify his name, and that is our goal as well. Um, we're getting a lot of reports from missionaries. Um, even as recently as about an hour ago, I received an a email from uh, Alfonso and Debbie. Um, they are in Spain on the Camino Trail, and um, 
I believe, uh, as with everybody else in most of the world, they're, they're uh, very limited on what they can do right now. And so um, both uh, Alfonso and Debbie are experiencing um, some health issues right now, some serious health issues. Um, they're not afraid, but uh, I know they would uh, covet your prayers as they walk through this uh, new trail in, in their life. Um, so that's one of the missionaries. That's just one of the stories I've heard even today about uh, just not being able to do uh, ministry as they normally are because of either being quarantined or not being able to get out. I just received a, a text from uh, Chris Romero in uh, Honduras. They also are on in quarantine. Their family, the school has been, uh, all the schools in Honduras have been closed. And uh, for that particular school, instead of just the kids being able to go home and uh, watch TV or do their homework from home, that kind of thing, uh, many of those kids have to go with their parents back to the dump. And so extremely different situation. And there are other places like that. So I think tonight, if we just uh, make that our prayer focus, um, there's so much focus on ourselves, obviously, naturally, um, with what's going on around us and the uncertainty of what tomorrow brings. But um, I think it's good for us to step back and realize this is a global thing. And, and uh, there are people all around the world being def affected in, in many serious ways. And so it uh, makes us breathe easier many times when we take our eyes off ourselves and, and look at other people and see how, uh, look for ways to help others. And so I encourage you that in that this evening um, as you uh, lay your head on your pillow and, and you are saying your prayers, I just pray that uh, uh, the whole world would be uh, benefited because of our prayers this evening. So um, that's uh, about enough of me tonight. I understand if too much FaceTime before bed causes nightmares. So uh, we're going to close in prayer. And uh, Daryl will be back with you at 9 a.m. And I'll see you tomorrow evening. So would you pray with me? Father, we are so grateful for your presence in our lives and in our world as, as the world is floundering, Lord, and, and things are spinning around us and, and no one has answers, Lord. You've always had the answer and you've always known that we're floundering without you. And, and I just ask that you would uh, be with our church family, Lord, each one. Would you bring them comfort? Would you keep them safe? Would you bring health to them and their families, Lord? And, and uh, would you allow them to be a blessing in whatever way, Lord, that you put before them to those around them? Uh, would you let us all shine brightly for you, Lord? And for our extended family around the world, Lord, who are, who are ministering in your name, who are doing good, uh, for the sake of your kingdom, Lord, would you also, Lord, sustain them? Would you give them hope and strength and, and perseverance, Lord, and, and also opportunity? Uh, Lord, we know that you thrive in these situations that where our weakness is uh, magnified, Lord. And so um, do that in this time, Lord, in this season. May this not be a, a setback for your church, Lord. May this be a... a propulsion, Lord. Push us forward. Uh, draw us together. Uh, unite us and uh, show the world how great you are. We love you. We praise you in Jesus name. Amen. Okay. It's lights out at 10 o'clock. So everybody uh, get your drinks and get tucked in and uh, God bless you. Good night.